Hi, my name is Rong Xiaoqing. I am a reporter for Xingtao Daily, a Chinese language newspaper in New York City. I've been covering the Chinese community in the U.S. for more than 10 years. And during the time, the community has changed a lot. Part of the change happened among Fujianese. These are people coming from uh, the Fujian province, uh, which is a coast province in China. And most of them were smuggled into this country during the 1980s and 1990s. Um, at that time, almost like every week, you will see one or two boats coming into uh, the New York Harbor or uh, some other coastal uh, cities in the U.S. with 200 or 300 undocumented immigrants from China. Um, but the trend has clearly been dying down in the recent years. For many reasons, uh, including the Chinese economic development and the policy change, etc. And um, the businesses here in the US are affected indeed uh, because of uh, cheap labor is hard to find anymore. Uh, so some restaurants have already shut down because of this. And I know uh, this is an interesting story, and I had been thinking to do it for, for years. Um, but I just needed an angle to chime in. And this angle came in uh, 2015, um, when I met this group of people who were participating uh, in, a, in a rally of uh, Chinese immigrants to fight for their civil rights. And I saw these people standing in the crowd and holding a banner saying, uh, Alumni Association from Tingjiang Secondary School. And I know Tingjiang is a county of Fujian province, but I'm, I've never heard of the name of the school. So I went to interview them and I asked them, how many of you guys are here? And they said, uh, oh, about uh, 200 people. I was like shocked. I was like, really? This is a, a middle school in the middle of nowhere in Fujian. And then you could uh, assemble 200 people at the last minute call for a rally like this. And they said, oh yeah, that's nothing, because we have uh, about 15,000 alumni in the US. So at that moment, I felt like I hit, I hit a jackpot. Uh, I know that's my story. Um, so I started to interview the alumni uh, in the US, uh, but this story could have never been done without the help from uh, the Pulitzer Center for Crisis Reporting. With a generous grant from the center, I was able to travel to China to interview the alumni who were smuggled into the US at that time and then went back to China in the recent years to look for opportunities there.